So in this example, we are asked to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex for y equals minus 1 tenth x squared plus 30x. So in the first case, we can have a look at finding the vertex, sorry, the axis of symmetry. We're given that x equals minus b over 2a from our formula booklet. And what you can discover is that b is the coefficient on x, so negative 30 divided by 2, and a is the coefficient on x squared, so it's negative 1 tenth. If you take negative 30 and you divide by 2, you get negative 15, divided by negative 1 tenth, you get 150. So the axis of symmetry is x equals 150. Next, you want to have a look at how to find the vertex. Now the vertex in this case is a maximum, because it's the highest point that the curve goes. Sometimes if it opens the other way, it's a minimum. So you want to look for the maximum. So you press enter. And then you come over, and again, same like when we found the x-intercepts, we need to come to the left of that maximum point. Press enter, then you come over until you come to the right. Notice here, I'm to the right of the maximum point. Press enter again. And finally, I enter a guess. Well, the maximum's up here, also called the vertex, and you see it's at 150, 2,250. So then your vertex is 150, and these numbers should match up, the vertex and the axis of symmetry, and then you have 2,250. So this is the vertex, and this is the axis of symmetry. Okay, so follow those steps using your calculator, and hopefully after you've done it a few times, it becomes automatic.